St. Graham Productions. What are you waiting for, soldier? Fire the trebuchet! For king and country! For king and country, my ass. This is all good, clean, fun. <laughs> Nearly as good as having that traitor in the pillory. Nearly. Now that would be sweet. <laughs> That's for Sigismund! Woohoo! Eat shit, don't you? Fritz, you're alive! Of course we're alive. You can't get rid of us that easily. Well, you two and work never got along. But don't tell me that they're not in need of carpenters. They're reconstructing the monastery. They don't want to start. And there's nothing else around here. Hey, you wouldn't happen to know of anything. It will really help us out right now. Well, I can ask around, but I'm not promising anything. Thanks, Henry. We'll pay off the debt, don't you worry. Some extra pairs of hands would be useful. What do you have in mind? My friends, two survivors of Scalitz, are looking for work. And why should I take them? They're experienced carpenters. Why not? Carpenters would be helpful. There's a lot of work here at the mill, and I'm not as spry as I used to be. The miller and Ledechko would be happy to meet you. You really found work for us? Of course. I couldn't bear to look at those sour faces of yours a moment longer. So what do you think about the workers I brought you? If I hadn't put in a good word for them, the miller would have thrown them out by now. It's good they have someone to look out for them. Where do you want to go? We've only just arrived. Are you happy here? It's not worth a damn. If I had any choice, you wouldn't see my heels for dust. Well, what's happened? Did you two get yourselves into trouble? Britons. What fine friend you are, assuming it's our own bloody fault. Oh, come on. You know what you two are like. I had to ask. Well, perhaps with that mug, but now the foreman's got it in for us. If he could, he'd skin us alive. Always forcing you to work, is he? If only. That wouldn't be so awful. But nothing we do is good enough for him. There's always some reason for him to yell at us. I can imagine. You know what it's like. We do too little, and it takes us too long, and what we eat's worth more than the work we've done, and it's no fun listening to that sort of shit day after day. And the miller won't stick up for you. I would have thought all the yelling would drive him mad. Not really. He trusts that loud-mouthed bastard more than us. 
He's got us down for a pair of parasites. What's so stupid is the mill really needs us. They haven't had any hands here for quite a while, and the mill needs a lot of fixing. But with them around, we can't even get to work. And you definitely don't... You don't ever provoke him. I've already told you once, he's an arsehole. I'd say there's nothing we can do about it. If he wants to yell at us, he'll yell at us. Have you tried talking with him? What do you think? Well, that just sets him off. He starts saying we're practically bandits and what he's going to do about it. That gets Fritz going and he starts yelling too and... Hmm. I'd never have guessed he's like that. Well, get a job here as a hand and you'll soon see. And what does he do during the day? Does he work with you? <laughs> Good one. He keeps his eye on everything, but his hand only touches the saw when the miller shows up, which isn't that surprising. Why? The last time he did anything, he almost took his thumb off with a chisel. I wouldn't put an axe in those paws of his either. So he's clumsy and arrogant. That's what you said about your last master, that Nimoy. Aye, but at least you could sneak away from old Nimoy for a bit. No chance of that around here. And what do you want to do about it? Just run away? Actually, I'd like to stay here, at least for a bit. I never would have thought I'd like working in a mill, but not with him around. It's unbearable, and there's no one I can complain to. But you could. Me? Do you think they'll listen to me? They did once already, didn't they? They hired us because of you. You could have another word with them. Back then, making promises was enough. Now, it will be worse. You can forget about the miller. It's Thomas you need to convince. The miller takes his opinion seriously. So, will you do it for us? Again? Fine. I'll try and talk to him. <sighs> I'm glad. But try not to get on his wrong side. You won't get anywhere with him then. I'll keep that in mind. See you later. Matthew told me your foreman's a fool, and you're not exactly filled with Christian love for him. You better believe it. I'd like to pay him back for everything. And drown him in the river. Drown him? What's he done to you? It was the uh, first or the second day in. Uh, we had a disagreement and I told him off. And then, all of a sudden, we're fighting and that fucker just throws me in the river. I nearly drowned. Well, how did you get out? I thought you couldn't swim. I can't. They pulled me out. I was up to my waist in water. I see. Well, I'd be pretty fucking angry, too. So you want to pay him back? Exactly. I don't give a shit about anything around here, but that bastard's in need of a good trouncing. I spoke with him briefly, and he doesn't seem so horrible. Then you ought to try working with him. He's a sneaky bastard. And arrogant. You should see how he puffs himself up when he's off to play dice with Lawrence. Who's Lawrence? Another mill hand? Aye, but the neighbouring mill. They call him the Wren. Damned if I know why. Thomas goes there to play dice with him. What about the others at the mill? Are they awful as well? The miller's an old fool. He believes every word that comes out of Thomas's mouth. It's hopeless. And then there's the miller's daughter. She's a pretty lass. And kind with it. And what can she do? Nothing. Not that it stops Matthew gonna see her. But Thomas is the root of the problem. Do you think he's jealous? Is she a sweetheart? He might make puppy dog eyes at her. But most of the time he just struts about like a peacock. I really don't think she's the problem. And what do you want to do about it? Do you think you can come to an agreement? No fucking chance. Matthew hopes so because he likes it here. It's true the work's better than the mines. But the pay's worse. So how do you plan on dealing with it? Leaving? Perhaps. But first, I want to give Thomas a proper trouncing. I mean a real thrashing. And you think that will help? Maybe. Maybe it'll knock some sense into that fat head of his. Or he'll be too frightened to mess with me. That... might help. So why don't you arrange a fight with him? If we win, he'll leave us alone. Oh, we could... What? We could lure him off someplace far away and then wait for him. Maybe to play dice with Lawrence. He would have to go through the dark woods. Mm. I'll think about it. Good boy.
Lawrence from Budine sends word that he has some time at night and some groschen. Lawrence from Budine. The Ren. You've had dealings with the Miller Peshek. Ah, you have it all mixed up. Peshek is from the Ratai Mill. Oh, you're right. I do have it mixed up. And Lawrence, you say? Ah, the Ren, of course. Ah, I must have misheard you. Yes, I'll definitely stop by. I talked him into going to play dice. All we have to do is lie in wait for him. <laughs> I can't wait to see that stupid look on his face when we're alone in the woods. Are you sure he brought it, though? I'm sure. He doesn't have the slightest idea what's waiting for him. Good, good. So in the evening you'll come and see me, and we'll all go together. Oh, and then we... What now? Could you tell Matthew about it? After all, uh, you're the one who set it all up. I, I think you'll be better explaining to him there is no other choice. Well, I spoke with him. How did it go? Did you come to an agreement? No. There's no talking to him. What will we do now? I suppose we could just leave, but I don't want to as long as there's some coin to be earned here. No, don't go running off just yet. Fritz and I have come up with a plan. Shit. You want to trounce him, don't you? Aye. I convinced him to go and play dice at the neighbouring mill, and we're going to lie in wait for him. And then we're going to have a nice little talk with him about his behaviour. Shit, shit, shit. An arranged fight, maybe, but this, it's assault. We could hang for it. Oh, come on, why would they hang us? In any case, there'll be no fighting. He wouldn't dare take the three of us on. All the same, if you two fools think this will solve everything, then you're fucking mistaken. Don't be such a pessimist. This kind of trick always works on people like him, you'll see. Goodbye. All right, I'm here. Let's do it. So let's go. Hey. Now listen up. You best start treating your workers better unless you want a repeat of this. Yeah. If I hear one more word of complaint about you, I'll kick you from here to Townburg and back. Dear, dear, dear. Uh, uh, you know what? Get the shit beaten out of you again. Uh, bastard. Maybe. But remember, from now on, that mill's gonna be as peaceful as a cloister on Easter Sunday. That's that then. Do you think it will be enough? He definitely looked like he'd had enough. True. He'll either stop or make life hell on earth for us. So. Anything else you need from me? No. Thank you for your help. Yeah, no problem. What are friends for? Hey, you forgot something. Uh, of course. You're right. Here's something on the side, Henry. I'll drink to both of you at the tavern. <laughs> That's very kind of you. <laughs> Just don't get so drunk you fall in a ditch. Here's your share. My share of what? What the hell are you on about? Well, that thing with Thomas, uh, somehow his ring ended up with us. Are you out of your tiny mind? If anyone finds out you robbed him, we'll all be fucked. Take it easy. It wasn't theft exactly. We all know he stole that ring himself. So if it comes out, he'll be in the shit too. He'll keep his mouth shut. I was wondering, did we all get equal shares? No, you got less, but still plenty. Where did you find someone willing to buy and not ask too many questions? I could do it wasn't easy. To then Fritz thought of Andrew. Andrew? The innkeeper here. They say all sorts of things about him. And how did it go with him? Well, first he didn't seem too keen. But when he saw the ring, he bought it off us. Actually, I'm not surprised. 
After all, we'll spend all the money on booze here anyway. What now? What will you do next? Now that you mention it... Mm. Out with it, then. What have you thought up now? I can't help myself. It's force of habit. We tried to be good at Sassau. And it didn't work? Exactly. We broke our backs working in the mill. And they drove you out? And they drove us out. The only worthwhile thing we did recently was give that waste for a thrashing, take his ring, and sell it to Andrew. I'm not sure I like where you're going with this. And where's that? No one in the country gives a damn about the law. And if we knock some thief over the head in the woods, or ambush some wagon with supplies for Sigismund's soldiers, I won't lose any sleep over it. Those swine deserve even worse. But that's what Sohanish is here for, isn't it? What can we do? Wake up, for Christ's sake! It's war! They skewered your parents, didn't they? They fucking burned Anyone. down our fucking village, didn't they? Don't you give a damn about that? Of course I fucking do. And now, there's a herd of swine ransacking skeletons. Those fuckers are trampling over the ashes of Jeremiah, and Desmond, and Siegfried, and Tristan. Here you are. Let's and chop good those help. bastards to pieces, one after the other. I can't let it go, Hal. Even if I have to do it on my own, I'll put the fear of God into those bastards. We'll strike fear into the fuckers. <sighs> I knew we could rely on you, Hal. I knew it. So? Yeah. Satisfied? What's the plan? Well, I thought Andrew the innkeeper here could help us, but he's nervous. Best ask Fritz. He sorted out selling the ring, and he knows Andrew better. All right, I'll do that. Good neighbors. I hear you've got a plan to fleece the local villains. Be nice, wouldn't it? Otherwise, we soon won't have a pot to piss in. And the innkeeper here could lend a helping hand? Exactly. So what's the problem? Uh, he reckons we're not up to it. You, you should try and talk him into it. You were always good at that. Oh, and tell him I sent you, so he doesn't send you packing. Take care. Good day to you. Fritz sent me. I'd like to talk about... Ah, you'd like some wine from my cellar? I have it right here, in the back. That's right. Show me the way. Farewell. Have you heard about anything interesting going on lately? Just some talk about lost sheep and indecent wenches. Probably nothing to interest you. Maybe later. I was thinking of something more in the line of um, work opportunities. I did hear about something, uh, something interesting from one of your neighbours. Who? I, I don't know his name, but it was about as old as you. He said his family owned the Scallets Tavern. Young Adam, then. And the interesting part? He decided he wanted to go back home, see the damage and so on. And someone looted it right in front of his nose. I know. I've met those scavengers before. It's not that interesting, just sad, really. Well, it certainly isn't Christian. But the thing is, they were hiding money in that cellar of theirs. I wouldn't count on it. The looters probably spent all of it by now if he crawled into the right tavern. And anyway, I'm sure they didn't exactly have the royal treasure hidden there. This Adam said it was enough to fix a whole cottage. Or to go exploring the world. All right, but it still seems shady. And you haven't really given me much to go on. Maybe. But I don't have anything better. Why don't you find him and ask him and see where it leads you? I'll be on my way then. Go. Go. And ask him when you see him. Maybe you'll think of something. you know where I can find the young innkeeper? Adam? He's either tottering around the tavern or hanging around the horses. You know him? Yes. Thank you. Take care now. Would you stay there? You went to Scallets on your own, didn't you? That took guts. No, not really. It took me a while before I could work up the courage. That was sensible of you. I went back straight away, and I almost got killed. 
I know. I heard. That's part of the reason I was so nervous. And how did it go? Did you do everything you wanted? There wasn't anyone. Anything to do. Someone already did it before me. I wasn't even able to catch that thieving bastard. What thief? Some shady-looking character. Whole face smeared with soot. He shot out of the basement as soon as I went by and ran away with his loot. I got such a scare. I didn't think about running after him. And he stole absolutely everything. Even our new kettle. What did he look like? I didn't get a good look at him. He was covered in soot. And his sack of loot was so full, he had the kettle tied to it on the outside. It was gleaming. A sooty man, a big sack, and a new kettle. Of course, he could clean himself up and throw away the sack. Maybe it was a devil. Or a charcoal burner. You know, it really could have been a charcoal burner. That sack definitely looked like a charcoal burner's sack. And there are a lot of those around Rovna, so he wouldn't have far to go. What was it he took from your place? I don't know. My father told me never to talk about it. What harm is there in telling me now? I can't steal it. Someone got there before me. That's true. My father hid some money and valuables there. There was... there was a jeweled cross. He wanted to give Bianca as a dowry. What did the cross look like? Why do you ask? Well, if I saw it somewhere... I'd... What? You want to look for it? Well, like I said, if I see it or hear something about it, we'll see. That would be so kind. I have nothing left. If I had that cross, at least I'd have something to remember them all by. The cross itself was silver, and it had a small red ruby in the middle, like a heart. And it was hanging on a red string. And did you tell the catchpoles about it? I did. Alex asked me what happened and then sent me straight to them. And what happened? They said they were sorry, but they don't have anyone who could search all the houses looking for a kettle. So they told me if I don't know who it was, then there's nothing they can do. God be with you. Traces of blood. Hmm. And these are the same sacks that were by that wagon. Have you been to Scallets lately? Not since I ran away from there. Why do you ask? Because someone saw you wandering around the houses there, poking around. That's ridiculous. Like I said, I haven't been back since that horrible day. If you don't tell me what I want to know, I'll make you regret it. Jesus Christ, all right? I was there, but I came late. The good stuff had already been taken, and I didn't want to go poking around. Carry on. It, it was... Look, this is the rest of what I found. I... I don't want it. J just take it. Give it to the needy. Whatever you want. Oh. A completely new kettle. Could it be the one stolen from Scallets? Oh, you've got a nice new kettle. Yeah, it cost me a groschen or two. Like hell it did. That cost you nothing but a bit of sneaking around. What are you trying to say? You robbed a man's home in Scallets. He saw you, and they'll hang you for that. All right, all right. Fuck, guess I took it. It, it didn't belong to anyone anymore, so what did it matter? It did belong to someone, Charcoal Burner. It belonged to a boy who came back to look for his dead family's savings and didn't find anything. So? I'm... I'm sorry about that. Take it then and give it to him. I hid it behind the cottage in the rotting tree. I'll forgive you this time. But God save you if you try anything like this ever again. Where's the cross? What are you talking about? You really want to try me? There was a cross in that hoard you stole, and it isn't here. So where did it end up? I... I sold it. To the innkeeper. Which one? 
Uh, and uh, Andrew. He has the inn between Tarnberg and Neuhoff. Farewell. What are you here for? It wasn't easy, but in the end I pulled it off. So how did it go? Have you got anything or not? I found him in the end, but it wasn't easy. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. Me too. Otherwise my purse wouldn't be jangling so nicely. Fine, fine. I just hope you know how you're going to share those coins. I just wanted to ask about the cross. What about it? It wasn't with the rest of the loot, and he said that he sold it to you. And you believed him? I'd like to buy it from you. You would? Well, if the price is right, how much are you offering? All right, that should cover my costs and efforts. You won't believe it, but I found Bianca's cross. Really? How did you find it? It's a long story. And? You know, I happened to run into that charcoal burner we were talking about. But, um... But what? That cretin didn't have anything with him. He must have spent it all. He said something about a debt, but I'm sure he was just making excuses. Well, I suppose that's all you can expect from a person who steals from decent people. I did what I could. I know, and I thank you for it. At least I'm no worse off than I was before. Now I'll never be able to rebuild the tavern. And thank you so much. I don't know what I would have done without you. Farewell. <laughs>